want to give a big shout out to R, aka Richard Rawlings, or aka R, whatever it is, and all the monkeys past and present tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time is the 15th season of Fast and Loud, the actual premiere. Yes, it is. And uh, we just want to say, well done, brother. You've absolutely killed it. And the only other person that shut down San Francisco was Steve McQueen for a car chase. So you are definitely killing it, sir. So watch tonight. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be epic. It's a two-hour episode. We will be there to take your beer, sir. You think that's going to bring a million? Yeah, I do. Damn. Yeah, it's the first American sports car ever built. Mm -hmm. And it's serial number one. You know I got one. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. What are you I'm talking about? Bought it in L.A. There's no way. <laughs> you want to bet? I don't know what number it is. It's like number 200 or something. Dude, there's only like 10 in the world even known at this time out of the 104. And only a couple of them run. And it runs? Yeah. Runs, drives. So if this one brings a million, what's mine worth? Probably on the low end, you're probably 200, 250. Brother, you know what's going to happen? You're going to buy my car for me because you're going to make so much money on this one. What do you think this one's worth? Probably 75 grand. You are f Get back in your car and leave. Let me shut this down. <laughs> he hits me at 75 grand. What does he think? I'm stupid? I mean, he just turned down 370 for his. How about 80 grand? There's no way, man. The best this car is going to do is maybe a third of what number one breaks. Give me a buck 20. Everybody's happy. I'm not even going to pay you 100. There's no way you're taking this car for less than 100. Absolutely not. I'm not paying 100. 100 grand. No less, period. I've I can got... tell when you're about to give up because your forehead's turning red. Dude, I'm going inside. Dude, this picture you took of me is awesome. That is a good picture, isn't it? I'm sending that to Aaron right now, showing him that I know what I'm doing. Bam. Get you some, Aaron. And I'm telling you, R, if this is the one that we're looking for, this one is the holy grail. You really picked a car out in the middle of nowhere, D. This is a Q code, and this is going to be worth checking out all in the woods. That's the car we came to see? That ain't the diamond in the goat's ass, that's the goat's ass. Hey, Art, check this out. I think I actually found the holy grail. Now, I know American cars, but I don't know a whole lot about these Austin Martins, which are not Austin Martins. I said it again. It's an Aston Martin. Uh, whatever. I absolutely am thrilled to see these. I love them, but man, we really want to see the Aston. Yes. The Aston Martin. Where is it? It's hard to walk by the Nash Healy's and get back there because Nash Healy's are my favorite car, but I'll tell you what, I couldn't wait to see it. Bam! Holy cow, Dennis. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Dude, that's cool. Ooh. So here we are, man. Kentucky. Land of bourbon, whiskey, and stuff. Moonshine. I don't know about all that. Well, we have never found this, that's for sure. So far off the beaten path, nobody would ever see it. Golly. Look at that. There it is. In the middle of Kentucky, freaking Ferrari sitting in a barn. So I didn't bring Dennis along this time for his money. Uh, literally, I brought him along to make sure that this is the real deal car, that it's unmolested and original, and that all the numbers match. I'm buying this one. 131.49GT. Got it. That's it. Outstanding. Great car. Numbers match. Holy grail. Some incredible parts. Valves, intakes, heads. There's a whole rack of freaking steering wheels over there. Golly. I'm not a big parts guy, but I know that there's some serious money in here with parts. Am I wasting your time on this, Big Chris? Uh, you're not wasting it. I just really wasn't expecting this much. Oh, <laughs> and bring it back to running. Ta-da! Wow. Pretty cool. Richard gave me a little bit of the backstory. He said that your dad purchased this in 81, and it's basically been here since 82. He's had it in storage for about 30 years. 30 years. Wow. wow. That's a long time. It was, though, that he liked it so much, he was kind of afraid to drive it. And there's a lot of guys like that. Me and Dennis are not one of them. That is very cool. The first thing I looked at when I got here was the code on the motor. It is an RF code, which is 375 horse. That was the biggest, baddest car you could get. That in itself is really rare. 